Hello everybody, grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I've been watching Stan and Stan's video kind of going back and forth with atheists. I've done this on many occasions, um, many different debates, um, but really the thing that got me was this clip right here and uh, he kind of said the same thing in the video response to Penn and Tellers. And really, this is really... I'm saying really too much. This is the um, part that I would disagree with. Mo about mostly everything else he was saying, I do agree. But this part right here in particular, I think, needs some light shed on it. It is for me. I've said many times that extremism of all stripes is the real root of the problem. I still think that's true, but that doesn't help you guys. And I think... Okay, so extremists. We got to ask ourselves, okay, what does it... What is an extremist? I think here terms are definitely important to be established and known. Because I find many people... Uh, they judge Christianity based on the acts of certain followers, but not on the doctrine. Whereas uh, with Islam, these atheists almost have the complete opposite view, where they say, oh, these are a few um, uh, radicals and they're not, you know, the true uh, face of Islam or however you want to put it. Um, but not so, and... Um, I think it's really important that this gets addressed. So, uh, when looking at it, first I want to relate a, a bit of things to the scripture because this is just kind of what I do and what I'm about. Uh, when we look at Jesus commemorating people on their faith, in the scriptures, in the gospels, it was one to a Roman pagan soldier. And he, what did Jesus say to him? He said, I have not seen faith like this. No, not even in Jerusalem. And Jerusalem was the city that had the true scriptures of God, that had the temple of God, that had the, the, the priest lineage, that had all of the right doctrine. But because they were a majority uh, group of beliefs, uh, sorry, a majority um, uh, population of the same beliefs, they became complacent in their views, meaning that, that, that their beliefs are right no matter how they acted or behaved. And I kind of see this in America as well, that Christianity is true, no matter how they act and behave, it doesn't matter because it's true, because almost everybody accepts it. Well, that is the case, that it doesn't matter how we behave. Um, truth is truth. Two plus two equals four, no matter how much I shout and rave, it's five. Um, so that being said, we also see that he commemorates the Samaritan woman on her faith when uh, with the healing of her daughter. Okay, so how can we relate that to today? Um, we see that the, the, that they, they aren't following when being persecutive of other people. They aren't following the right... Uh, they aren't following the teachings of Christ. Um, there's, there's a great dynamic in being in a setting where you have different perspectives coming in because it allows you to step back and look at what you believe and judge it from the outside because if i'm shouting and raving two plus two equals five i'm not going to want anybody to question me because then they'll find out it's wrong it's only those who have the truth that don't mind questioning and this is why i, I welcome questioning um christianity so much and that uh, the questions have to be put in the right way. You can't just be, you know, badgering a, a pastor to ask these questions that you yourself don't even care to hear the answer for. 
or um, or as an example, somebody questioning this, the Bible, yet he himself is unwilling to go and read it and see what it has to say. And I've noticed that that is a big case with a lot of atheists, is they judge it even it stands guilty before they've read it. Um, moving forward, uh, the the radical is the one, the radical Christian is the one that follows Jesus Christ. The radical Christian is the one who has a sandwich in one hand for the poor and a Bible in the other. The radical Christian is the one that chases after uh, natural disasters and helps them rebuild. The radical Christian is the one who is in the, the um, prisons helping the prisoners. The, one, the radical Christian is the one going to the hospitals and helping those who have nothing. Those are the radicals. A radical means somebody that follows what they believe in. And if you claim to be Christian, your radical views are following Christianity, as sorry, following Christ. And Christ said to love your enemy. So any of these people who claim to be Christian and are bombing abortion clinics or whatever, they aren't following the teachings of Christ. And one of the most cutthroat, um, soul and spirit dividing verses in scriptures where Christ said, not everybody who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does, and then, and then the, the believer comes to him and says, what about all these great works we did trying to boast in themselves? And he said, but I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Get away from me, you evildoer. So the radical Muslim, though, when looking at the Quran and opening, um, uh, chapter 48, verse 16. If you don't fight for Allah, you will receive no blessing. Now, I don't agree with the Quran. For me, it's a book of garbage, and I've read it, and I've held it to the same standards I hold the Bible. Yet, it is garbage. Compare the divorce of the Quran to the divorce in the Bible. Compare taking oaths to the Quran to what Jesus tells about taking oaths. All of these things. It does not hold up at all. And so, therefore, the radical one is the one that follows the, the, the teacher, the leader. And that's what it is. When these Christians do evil, they aren't following Christ. They aren't being radical Christians. That being said, I think this is enough. And uh, take care, guys.